So it's a pleasure to meet you, Professor Wright. Welcome to Pierce Electromagnetic Conference in Chista, Sweden. If you don't mind, I would like to ask you a few questions regarding your new theory. You presented a new theory of relativity at last Pierce Conference in Moscow last year, which was characterized by the conference viceman, Professor Shestopalov, as big scientific value. What are the key aspects of the new theory, and what was of such value? I guess it all boils down to whether there's a propagating medium or not, an ether. Einstein said that there was no ether, no propagating medium. It means waves can travel without a medium. But there is a propagating medium, and once you realize that, everything makes sense. The results that exist and are predictable are based on a propagating medium. You put the, put the propagating medium back in there, you get the same results that Einstein gets. But if you go back and look at the equations, the propagating medium is there. He's using a propagating medium to predict these things although he doesn't realize it. Empty space isn't empty. It, it does have a propagating medium. It's been known for years and it's fairly measurable. You can measure the uh, perma permeability and permittivity. And uh, it's, uh, perme permeability is, is the mass of the electrical medium. And permittivity is the springiness of the electromagnetic medium. You know, I'm talking about the properties of something that doesn't exist, right? And these two together bounce the waves through, through, the, uh, through space. So space isn't empty, it's got this well-defined, well-measured property. What is gravity, you may ask? And people have been asking that for a hundred years. And what, what, what can it be? Uh, the, 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 there's only electromagnetic fields available. There's nothing else we've discovered. Uh, le electromagnetic waves and gravity waves both use the same medium. Electromagnetic waves are, are, are disturbances, fluctuations being propagated through the medium. The gravity is a steady, a steady disturbance propagating through them. No waves, but just a steady influence. It's the difference between uh, positive and negative charges in matter. Positive and negative charges almost cancel each other. And the closer they get, the weaker the field. So that's why gravity is a very weak field. But there's an awful lot of mass out there, which makes this uh, 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 propagating medium propagate the uh, gravity throughout the universe. theory is, uh, is, is unified now. Once you realize that gravity and electromagnetism use the same propagating medium and the propagating medium exists, then everything's okidori. Uh, Einstein's theory, because he said there's no propagating medium, he didn't distinguish between the source and the observer, right? He just talked about the propagation between the two points. As if there's no propagating medium, then you, 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 only relative motion is important now in his theory. But it, that is wrong. It's not relative motion at all. It's the individual motion of the source and the observer relative to the propagating medium, which you need to use in equations to predict all the good results. You can have, two, you can have a source and observer not moving with each other, but if it moves relative to the propagating medium, you, 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 you make a, a, a measured difference between stationary and moving. Einstein can't explain that. Lenz got it right. Einstein kind of muddied the waters. And what I'm trying to do is to re-establish Lorentz and extend it to source and observer motion. That is the complete radiation equation. It will explain everything. Einstein said that there's no propagating medium. He develops a wave theory with a propagating medium. And then uh, some results went badly for him, he thought. And so he thought, oh, perhaps we don't need a propagating medium after all. Marcus and Morley shot a laser, basically, across the direction of the motion of the Earth and in the direction of the motion of the Earth. Right? And if the Earth was moving through this propagating medium, it would affect the light, wouldn't it? be different going forward and going backwards or to the side. Well, uh, Martin Wall found no, no change whether they shone the light forward or backwards or sideways. So I said, oh, 
I think jobs are clear. Oh, it mustn't be a propagating medium then, right? Because it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't recognise the medium. You see, well, his big mistake is that the propagating medium is actually travelling with the Earth. The propagating medium is attracted to large gravitational masses, so all all masses pull their propagating medium around with them. Propagating medium is basically at rest in space but large gravitational bodies attract the medium around it. And so and that, and all these experiments that have been measured said, show that this propagating medium does exist around the Earth, you know. It, there's, there's, there's a large propagating medium going out to 50 diameters, uh, which is stationary and just moves with the Earth in its orbit. And then there's another propagating medium very close to the Earth's surface, the boundary layer, only 10 kilometers, 10 kilometers high, uh, which planes can fly above, and satellites fly above this, so they fly in this stationary propagating medium. But let me just mention one other. The early communications, satellite communications from Japan to uh, California showed there's a delay, you know, going in the direction of the Earth's rotation and going back. It's a propagation delay difference between going forward and back, showing there's a you wouldn't get that if the propagating medium wasn't there. It wouldn't. It wouldn't show. You see. Do you see the? the see the, the, what, How this all came about? Einstein got hold of this information about uh, Midas and Morley, showing there's no effect. So he said, "Oh, don't need a propagating medium. It's not changing anything." But, it, it, but it, that's because he was low down at Earth level, and the medium's moving with the Earth. But you get a t ten kilometers above the Earth. And the Earth is spinning relative to the propagating medium. And it affects satellite signals, affects satellite communications across the Pacific Ocean. If you've got uh, planets uh, orbiting uh, uh, some object or some object, or, you know, because they're moving, their time will slightly change and it will slightly alter the ellipse. It's the structure of the object that's shrinking. Space doesn't shrink. Objects involved in the eclipse were travelling at appreciable speed compared to the speed of light. This, this t time slightly changed. It's not the medium's time and space that changed, it's the objects that move through it whose time and space change. They, they both contract, time slows, and space actually gets smaller. And that's all to do with Einstein's general relativity, which is perfectly fine. He's not saying there's no propagating medium because it's there, or else he wouldn't get that result. You wouldn't explain your GPS results without the propagating medium. You know, the, the satellite and the Earth station move relative to the propagating medium, which is stationary around the Earth. And you, you, get a, you get a delay because the Earth station and the satellite is moving relative to the stationary medium. And, it, 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 and you get a delay, uh, you get a uh, displacement of, 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 of the ray. And it's 30 meters. At, at, at the Earth, at the equator, it wouldn't be 30 meters. You wouldn't be able to calculate it if you hadn't got the medium in there. It works when he uses his field equations with a propagating medium. I'm not really saying a lot, actually. I'm, all I'm doing is putting back what was already there to make things make sense so everyone can understand relativity.